Hello, my name is Ben, and I am not a great gamer. Welcome back to Finland, here in Banished, in which we are pretty much just trying to fill this giant map. Well, it's not a giant map, I think it's just a large map. And get ourselves a lovely, lovely cathedral. And one of the things I've just done over here, is there is a segment over here in the northwest of town where I'm going to have a canal. And so I've just started plunking down the canal here. One of the things about a canal, you want to make sure that you incorporate your bridges. There's a canal bridge. You want to have that, otherwise people walk across the canal or like through it or something. It's really weird. We're having a little bit of a, uh, a uh, demographic issue. I say as I plunk down canals instead of houses, which I should probably focus on some houses. In fact, someplace I was thinking about focusing on houses is over here near my mining district in the hardwood area. Uh, I think we can actually stick a few, like, well, let's stick a couple roads in just so I know the structure here. Oh, that's not what I want. That's not what I want either. There we go. Like a little diagonal there, just to make it happen. And then, let's see how many town abodes I can slip in here. Fortune has arrived. I will deal with you later better way to deal with a housing issue than by dealing with it in bulk, right? I don't want people too close to the mines, though, so let's do a couple more here and here. Let's finish them up. And what do you want? Ooh, haggis. I actually want to sell haggis at some point, but uh, that day is not this day, unfortunately. Oh, there's a barn over here I want to upgrade. This barn over here, I don't care that it's full. It needs to be upgraded. So, figure out where to stick stuff and upgrade that barn for me. Okay. okay. There is a road going through this hardwood area, I think, out to here, out to this barn. In fact, I'm thinking what I may do, or out to this mine. I'm thinking what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to destroy these uh, stockpiles. And then I'm going to put like proper barns and proper houses out here. So that this mine can actually get worked in a rip, like reasonable way. Logs. We're gonna buy logs. Two hundred logs. Um. Also, we're fairly low on homeware, so I'm gonna spend a little time on that, but not too much. I think. I think just two hundred logs are gonna do it. Let's. Oh yeah, we have no wool coats there. Wow. Okay. And let's sell. 401 401 feathers. There we go. Okay, so we got a few logs. So, what are we doing for homewares? I don't even remember. Like, it's been that long I forgot how to do homewares. So, let's see where we can stick one first. So, let's stick a homeware cell or homeware maker in here first. This, uh, out of hemp. Let's go with a little bit of bamboo here instead. Some of my bundlers. They're, I mean, we just run out of hemp so quickly. Change a couple of them over to bamboo instead. So, let's do this. Find resources. Let's go with homeware supplier. Um, where do I want one? Probably right here. I have two of those. And then I think we're gonna have a road. Yeah, this would be a little block. And then the other thing I want, we're both low on both homewares and on, um, what's the other one? Building suppliers, there we go. Oh, I forgot how big these guys were. And they have a little road through them. Nice. Well, whatever works, right? So we will build those. It's summer, so most of our labor is out there um, just farming at this point. Oh, and don't forget, you want a gate to start with. So you, the way canals work, as far as I can tell, you have a gate out here like in your lake. And then you want to make sure that you have bridges and stuff. Otherwise, you, you have serious trouble crossing your canal. Um, so we will... We'll let that work itself out for a little bit. Yeah, you guys build a 
queued up some uh, destruction of trees over here, as I am wont to do. Oh man, we are so low on fuel. I think it's the combination of us, uh, well, we're making, we're building houses. And when you build a house, uh, the folks who live in that house, they go out and find fuel. Or in this case, they don't find fuel. In this case, maybe. Oops. I'm beginning to wonder if it's not time to start upgrading some houses that have some folks that are a little too old, like this guy. These guys. Uh, 59 year old herdsman, 54 year old farmer. You know what? You're gonna get yourself a nice country house. Now two people are homeless. They're not really homeless. These guys. Oh, no. Yeah, 67 year old miner, 50 year old farmer, and a 13 year old student. The student will be fine. Um, let's get you a nice country house. There we go. I love this just giant pile of iron. That's what this is. This is all iron. People are coming out here just to grab the iron and then take it to the nearest the nearest barn. Which, the nearest barn is actually a ways away now that I just destroyed this uh, storage barn, so, whoops. Pigs, sheep, and milky cows. Don't need them. Don't need them. Uh, and another blacksmith. Yes. Continue with the iron tools. It's pretty ugly out there with the, with the uh, as far as the tools go. We're down to 40, 44 tools. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Uh, you know what? Hang on. Can we do this? Can we buy some tools? Do we have iron tools? We don't. They have bronze tools. I don't want to pay for substandard tools. That's that's my take on this. I don't want to pay for substandard tools. Iron tools are nothing. Ah. <sighs> Oh yeah, we already got people sh people low on tools. Mm-hmm. Yep. Saw that. Saw that coming. Part of me doesn't really know what else to do. I think we're just sort of waiting for things to uh, work themselves out over here. How are we doing on fuel? How are we doing on bamboo? That's my real question. Like, are we finishing... How do I say this? Do we have too much bamboo? That's my question. Um, like, do we have too much bamboo and not enough uh, bamboo bundlers? Yeah, we have 12,000 bamboo. Wow. Maybe we should have, like, skipped hemp forever. Oh. S small core needs to be upgraded. Yes. Deep small core. Go. Okay. These people doing? What are you doing? You're picking up resources. You are a farmer. Oh, probably for your house, yeah. So some of our fire bundlers are gonna switch over to bamboo. Or we could just build more fire bundlers. I know, I know. Scary, right? Let's just build these over here. Probably a good idea. A link shed. A link shed. Maybe like three of them. A link shed. Let's do it. And that way, because we have a decent amount of bamboo over here, so a lot of that is going to get fed into these bundling sheds over here. And then we'll have fuel coming out. It'll be great. It will be great. So we're slowly just watching stuff get built. It's really kind of what we're doing. Plenty of people moving into these country houses. Excellent. 23-year-olds, 25-year-olds, 18-year-old cleric. Oh, yeah. Greasy. Are you, uh... Yeah, you're educated. Interesting. I think there's an efficiency uh, issue with... Um, with education. I think actually like you you have to go and find where you're gonna be educated and I think uh, travel time is taken into account based on where you live because I see people who are, whoa that's a lot of toolless people Ooh. yeah we're gonna have to buy in some tools uh, as soon as 
Even substandard tools at this point, I think maybe we probably should have bought those tools. Eek. Um, the other question is though, how many wool coats do we even have? How many wool coats do we have? Because our trade post doesn't really have any. Oh, we have thousands of them. Yeah. We have tons of wool too. Off camera, I'll take a look at um, our like how many how much stuff we have in terms of uh, you know in terms of cloth and, and various other things wool cloth um, wool coats things like that. Make sure that we uh, we don't have just a giant pile. Of, well, we still have a, a giant pile of cotton, and we're we're gonna it's gonna take us a while to sort of work through that. But I have a plan for that. We have forty five toolless people. Oh, and um, what another Homer supplier? We have furniture and copperware? Do we have copperware? Are we making copperware? Oh, uh, this is the tough part. I don't know what we're doing. No, it's furniture and pottery. That's what we're doing. Yes. Yes, let's take a look at what we have in terms of furniture and pottery. We have a, a decent amount of fancy furniture, not too much, but we do have some. Furniture, 429. We may need to build more of that. Which means we'd need more logs. Which, I mean, seriously. And then pottery. Oh yeah, pottery. How are we doing on pottery? Pottery. Ah, we're kind of low on pottery too. How are we doing on clay? Uh, plenty of clay. Yeah, well, kind of. I mean, we, we, we can always do more shore houses, right? So I think we're gonna do this. Oh, just the real question. Furnace fuel. How much furnace fuel do we have? We have a decent amount. Oh my goodness. We are chugging so hard. I was down around the, like, 13 frames per second. Although I think there may have been a, uh... Why was a silk farmer killed by a cave-in? Anyway, I think we may have had an autosave there for a second, so... Eek. Um, we have more tools than we have toolless people, so guys, go find the tools. Go find the tools. Okay, they're there. They're out there. I know they are. Hmm. What was I doing? Okay, so we're gonna focus now on... Housewares. Housewares. Probably want a potter and a furniture maker, uh, or joiner is what it's called. Okay, so where's the canal? It's over there. Okay, so this block is going to be devoted to housewares and building supplies. So to that end, we're going to want a potter. And at some point, we're going to have to check on our um, ability to produce uh, furnace fuel as well. And one more person on the homewares. You do it out of... Oh, we can do it out of bedding. That's probably a good idea. Let's actually switch this guy to bedding. And that doesn't take any fuel at all. Let's do that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do the, do the bedding thing. I don't know how much bedding we have, and I, or if we'll need more bedding people. But we have the stuff to do it. We have cloth. We have cotton. We have cloth. We have um, we have feathers. Gosh, we have feathers. Don't even don't even talk to me about feathers. Just don't even talk about it. Um, but just in case, I'm gonna go check on feathers. Yeah, we have nine thousand feathers. How are we doing on cloth? Three thousand cloth. Oh yeah, let's uh let's throw throw a bedding dude down. Let's have bedding happen. Make bedding great again. Uh, you. Tell me your oh not rough tools. Rough tools stink so bad. Rough tools are the worst. Logs though, I'll buy logs off of you. It's it's getting to the point on a game like this where you start selling. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sell feathers anymore. In fact, let's sell some fancy furniture. 
Um, it's going to cost overpaying by 50. So, 14 fancy furniture to do this. Okay, so we'll buy in some logs. It'll be fine. But yeah, it, it's getting to the point where we're just going to be buying in logs and various other things. Actually, let's buy in some furnace fuel. I hadn't even thought about it though. Um, switching a lot of our production chains over to things that don't require furnace fuel. That would probably be a really, really good idea. Um, what's just you know what? What's 1800 divided by um, divided by 30? That's it's yeah. It's a divi it's an even number. I know that. Well, it's a it's a yeah. It's 60. Okay. Uh, we we can't actually do that. Let's do this. Okay, so what's 461 divided by 30? <laughs> That's 16. So we're going to sell a bunch of our fancy furniture, but that's okay. That's okay. So we're going to get a bunch of furnace fuel in, which is all right. But man, if we can switch over to some furnace fuel-less systems, that would be so good. And I think that's what we're about to do. Um, so let's make another, let's make a bedding maker. In fact, let's cancel this. Is Potter? Potter's not gonna have it. Bedding. All about the bedding now. Bedding maker. Yeah, buddy. And then I think we can stick like a small barn in here or something. Can we fit a small barn there? Nah, no, it's too small. We could probably stick a really stupid house though. That would be funny. Like, just the worst house ever. I bet you we could do that. House. Colonial townhouse? We're not doing a tiny house, though. No, we're not gonna do it. No, it's only too wide. That's the only thing you can do, okay. Building supplies. Okay. Thirty brick and eighteen lumber. I think that's what we're gonna do. We can make tons and tons of bricks. Now, granted, that requires a decent amount of um, all these things require furnace fuel. I just don't feel like doing joists at this point. The number of toolless people is going down. Oh, that's kind of nice. I think it's just the tons and tons and tons of blacksmiths that I've unleashed upon the world. Uh, yes, what are you selling me? Mostly food. All food, actually. Oh, this one just died in childbirth. That's really terrible. That really is terrible. There's our bedding maker. I think we want a brickworks. That's what we want. Yep. Can go for brickworks. Let's do it. Sanders here. Might as well just stick it there. Why not? That'll require a bunch of clay. That's fine. He's fine. Uh, okay, we have more toolless people now. I think it's because when people are, when people become laborers, they're all of a sudden like, well, I need to go get a tool. I don't have a tool, like, anywhere near me. But we still do have more tools than toolless people, so that's, it's going to work itself out, I hope. Come on, guys, come get this, come get this stuff. Come get the stuff. How does this look? That's actually not bad. Got ourselves a colonial house. Half house right, half house left, and a homestead. It's not bad, actually. Zavi and Gret. They better have like a child named Egret or something. Which, I, never mind. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. It's fine. It's fine. Or if it's just a dumb joke, it's fine too. That happens. There we go. Build. Build. There you go. Sometimes I just like watching them build. Yet another country house. Oh man, we're almost back up to a, a thousand now. A thousand adults. I could really use some nomads, actually. I could really use some nomads. Let's go to 
back here. Um, a lot of people just died. Like, a lot of people just died. That was kind of amazing, actually. Not, like, in a good way, either. But I was amazed. Amaze. Amaze happened. This is gonna be the stupidest road ever. There you go. That's kind of a silly road, but there you go. It kind of goes around here, and then loops and does- yeah, it's bad. It's bad, but it'll work. Except it won't work. What's gonna ha actually happen is people are just going to- yeah, they're gonna walk this. You know what? I'll just put a road down here. Just people are just gonna walk it anyway. Um, you might as well make it easy for them, right? There we go. Ray Bernie and Yolana. Remember? We had a Ray Bernie earlier. Yes. Make the babies. Make it the babies. So what are we gonna put in this area? It's taken them so long to do this, there's still, like, like a bunch of, like, mushrooms and herbs and stuff grew up, and reeds. And, what are these, flowers? That must be herbs. Okay, in fact, can we fit another house in here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we can. That'll be a great place for a house right there. over here. Oh, hey. And also, um, did these get built? Yes, they did. Oh, yeah. All my new little town abodes. Look at all these people. Silk farmers and hunters and students and hunters. I forgot that students would come out here and, like, make babies and stuff. Lots of miners living out here. Oh, so good. The efficiency. Do you feel it? I feel it. You know what else I feel in terms of efficiency? We're gonna kill this this, uh, Stockpile there. Stockpiles are super inefficient for certain purposes. Certain purposes. Stockpiles just don't like dolphins. Yes. Trader uh, seeds. No. Okay. How's this area doing? We have a bedding maker. It needs a little person. Bedding feather plus cloth. Oh, you can just do cotton plus cloth. You know what? No, we need, we have feathers. We have too much feathers. Too much feathers. Yes, Ben can done talk. Okay. And then another building supplier. Let's go with just 30 brick and 18 lumber. Let's go with it. Oh, lumber. Oh, for some reason I was thinking of logs. Ooh, what are my other building suppliers doing? A bunch of them over, bunch of them over here. Building suppliers. What are you doing? Right there. 12 brick plus 6 glass plus 9 iron. That's actually not a terrible... It's actually not terrible. Work. You work, but give me lumber. There we go. How many people can I kick out of their houses now? Hey, town of boat. Why don't you have a nice townhouse instead? Uh, Bessie, you're 67 and you're a farmer and you're gonna be unemployed, or, uh, homeless for a second. Actually, probably until the day you die. No, you're just gonna go to the, um, just gonna go to the boarding house. It'll be fine. We're down to seven laborers, partly because I'm a moron and partly because of, uh, demographics, but what are you gonna do? Ooh, good. This new storage warehouse. There we go. Remove this structure there. We don't need it. We can build better barns. This one, too. All these central stockpiles are about to go away. This one's fine for now. That one too. No, that one can go. We'll build this a barn. It'll be fine. Or like, I don't know, houses or something. Well, not houses. Not right there. Not next to a mine. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. Oh, yeah. I love seeing these, this, you know, all these folks around here doing the mining. We're doing on stone cutters. That's fine. We still have some toolless people. I'm not really sure what else to do about that. Yeah, 
what does it take to make silk clothing? We're gonna have to upgrade one of these soon. Uh, this tailor to up to a clothier. Yep. That's gonna have to happen. The timer just went off, so that's probably gonna have to happen in a future episode. This, yeah, this country house, complete with 81-year-old Clistony. Uh, you know what? You're gonna be a nice country house. Yep. Ooh. Bridge and Ella just moved in. A labor and a herdsman. They're 19. Both of them. Make me babies. Make them now. Make them now. It is late spring, and, uh, wow. This hemp- man, this hemp party. This hemp is already well on its way. Look at that. And how are we doing on- we have 440 fuel, which is not great. It's not horrible. We have a newly cleared area out here that we're gonna have to, uh, figure out what to do with, but we're gonna figure out what to do with next time. I'm gonna do a couple things off camera, uh, figure out how we're doing well in this bamboo. Oh, man. Just- it's- just look- look at all the fuel that's gonna come out of that. It's so good. But, uh, we're gonna figure out- oh, it's growing. I'm gonna figure out a few, uh, production chains. Not that I really am in a position to do anything about it, but, uh, let's see what we can do. But we'll figure that out next time. Until then, I enjoyed myself. I hope you enjoyed yourself as well. If you did, feel free to leave a, leave a like, comment, or a subscription. Or all three. And uh, I do look forward to seeing you next time. Goodbye from... I think it's a little kid. Who's this? Yes. Uh, Valarin, the little nine-year-old girl. Ooh, she's nine, year old, nine years old. She'll be a student soon. Yeah, your, uh, your days of idling are numbered, little kid. Okay, bye, folks.